Well, hello. It's time for my weekly Weight Watchers weekly update. Um, I'm going to go over what the meeting was about. But first, I want to tell you that I lost 2.1 pounds. I'm into the 60s now, which was my goal for this week. So there you go. I'm very proud of myself. Um, 2.1. Mary tied me. We both had 2.1. And uh, feeling pretty good about myself. Um, I'll have a loss again next week only because I can't eat because I'm having a colonoscopy. So it won't be a true weight loss. So I'm not going to get too excited about it because I'll have to really stay di diligent the following week because that's when you go back to eating is when you start. You know, you can starve yourself and it looks good on the scale. If you didn't eat anything the day before and then you get on the scale and you lost three or four pounds. But let's face it, it really wasn't a loss. It's just that you didn't eat. Because as soon as you eat something, you're going to replace that weight. So don't trick yourself that way. It's not. I have no choice. I, I can't eat Wednesday or Thursday. Well, Thursday I can eat. But um, my colonoscopy is not scheduled till 1.30, so I probably won't get home till about 4.30. So I really will bet almost two days not eating. And uh, and then you don't really eat a lot either because, uh, you know, your stomach is so empty. But anyway, uh, enough about that. Um, today's meeting was, um, our weekly, was about eating out, which is... Um, Something I'm going to need the following week because the following week I'm eating out twice. On Tuesday, not this Tuesday, but a week from Tuesday I'm going out with my brother and my sisters for dinner. And then uh, on that following Thursday I'm going out um, with my couple's dinner. It just kind of worked out that we were both going the same week. So after coming off uh, probably a loss from next week, I'm predicting since uh, I won't be eating for a couple days. And... Um, so I got to be really diligent. So this probably should have came. This probably should have come out next week to help me out. But I, you have to follow these patterns. You have to follow this advice all the time, not just just once in a while. And like I said, I I eat out at a minimum of twice a month, um, but usually probably about three times a month, and uh, which is really good because uh, I used to eat out three or four times a week. Not necessarily eat out. I'd get carry out, but that's the same thing as eating out because you're eating all those processed foods and all the additives and stuff that's in there, and preservatives and salt and all that stuff that you, your body really doesn't need. But uh, so I, I'm really proud of the fact that I haven't done that. Other than I had the Taco Bell last week, which I told you I didn't really agree with me. Um, I haven't had fast food this year, so I think I'm doing pretty good that, in that regards. But um, anyway. Back to the subject at hand. Um, it's it's called enjoy eating out. And they tell you, you can feel confident eating away from home, whether it's at your house or uh, at your, like an in-law's house or a party that you're going to or a restaurant, you can still eat out. Um, you just gotta use a few smart strategies before you go. And you know in advance where you're gonna go. A lot of times, it's very rarely do you just all the spur of the moment decide you're gonna go somewhere. You know in advance that you're gonna go if you're going to a friend's house, um, you can kind of ask them what they're having and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, in passing, oh, what do you think you're going to have, you know, and you can decide if that's something that you can eat or um, just say, you know, do you mind if I bring a dish to pass and then bring something that you know you're going to eat and figure your points in. Don't deprive yourself, just figure it in. And if you have to go into your weeklies, that's what they're there for. Uh, it's not to deprive yourself. You need, if you're going to deprive yourself, you're never going to stick on this, that's for sure. And, um, Planning helps you minimize the challenges of eating out and make healthy decisions easier. There's not a restaurant that I go to that they don't have an online menu. And a lot of times I do look on the menu ahead of time um, to see what I'm going to get. Uh, I have my standbys at certain restaurants that I go to that I know what I'm going to get. So I kind of know what the points are. Now, I didn't at the time. I was surprised at uh, how many points different dishes were. You really are surprised when you, when you ask. Or when you look it up, you really do. And um, you can always ask your server, you know, what do you think is good? What do you think is healthy? And, and they'll help you. They're used to special requests, you know, trust me. Um, especially if they deal with the elderly crowd. <laughs> we have so many limitations on our diet. We're, we're always asking. I know that. And uh, take a picture of your... I know people hate seeing it on Facebook. Don't post it on Facebook or Instagram. Well, you know, a lot of people do post them on Facebook and Instagram. But take a picture just for yourself so that when you get home... You can remember exactly what you had, you know, and not that you're not going to remember, but, you know, you look at it and you go, oh, yeah, I forgot to track, like, some ingredient that was in it that you didn't know. Um, 
that you know you can track it and, and know that you're going to do it. But uh, there's different things you can do to be a savvy, a savvy, savvy, a savvy diner out. Um, first of all, you want to figure out what the occasion is. If you say it's no big deal, it's just a meal, you're already doomed for failure. You don't want to do that. You want to say, we're celebrating. Then you cannot feel so guilty when you have something that's probably a little bit over your points, but you're not making a habit of it doing it constantly. It's just, this is a celebration. I'm going to do it. Um, who are you eating with? Decide who you can, or who you're, who you're eating with. If you're eating from your book group or just by yourself or friends and family, um, know who your triggers are. You're always going to have that friend who says, oh, you can have a slice of cake. Who's going to, who's going to care? You can have an extra helping of French fries. Um, you can get cheese fries rather than French fries. It's not going to hurt you this one time. They're just trying to be your friend in the wrong way. <laughs> they really are. Um, don't get the cheese fries. Get the fries. Just say, you know, that's a really good suggestion, and I'm glad maybe you might want to get some cheese fries. Maybe I'll have one of your cheese fries, but I'm just going to order regular fries. And then just take one of their cheese fries, and then that's kind of like you've satisfied that little bit of a taste to it, and um, move on. Uh, now, if you think that that one cheese fry is going to lead to a second cheese fry, don't take it. Just don't. But, you know, you could do that. Um, if you're by yourself, see, I don't like eating by myself. I always think that someone looks at somebody by them. Well, I look at someone that's by themselves, and I'm thinking, oh, that poor person couldn't get somebody to go out to eat with them. <laughs> and I, my mother loved going, Denise goes out to eat by herself. Um, I, I just can't do that. That's just not who I am. I think that uh, when you're by yourself, you tend to eat more. And uh, because you're not distracted with a conversation or something like that. The, the, the conversation can also be distracting in the sense that uh, it's going to keep you away from your plan uh, because you're eating mindlessly. You don't want to do that, which was last week. We don't want to eat mindlessly. And uh, see if you can browse the menu beforehand. Like I said, there's uh, not too many restaurants around that you can't find the, uh, the thing online to figure out what you're going to have. An unhelpful thought would be, which is onto that think again, would be to say, boy, that stir fry looks good, but it's too hard to figure out the smart points. I'm just going to eat it and not worry about it. Um, no, take a picture of it. When you get home, say, oh, yeah, that was in there and that was in there, and then track it to the best of your ability. You're not going to know exactly what they used in the kitchen, but you can get a rough guesstimate of what it is. Um, an unhelpful thought was my wife wants to go to a fancy restaurant, and I'll never be able to stick to my budget, or my husband, whatever. Um, you can also say, my wife wants to go to a fancy restaurant. I've heard great things about that restaurant. I'm going to eat within reason on that restaurant, though, because, you know, they're going to have some healthy choices. All restaurant, all good restaurants nowadays have a healthy choice that you can choose from. And then the little bubbles are just little things that people have thought of. And um, I, like, I like this tip. It says, um, you have an idea of what you want before you go to a grocery store or a clothing store. Is that... Do you do the same thing when you go to a restaurant? Which is true. If I'm going to go to the store, to the grocery store, I know pretty much what I'm going to get. I might go off the track a little bit, but I know what I'm going to get. And uh, the same thing goes for a clothing store. If I'm going to go get a pair of jeans, I know I'm going there to get a pair of jeans. Not to say that I might not get something else, but I know in my mind I'm going to get that. Um, speak up and tell your server you'll be surprised at how willing he is to help. They're always willing to help. They always are. That's not a problem. Uh, split an entree with your friend. Um, I'm not so much splitting an entree with my friend. I don't like other people's forks in my food. But, uh, you know, like a fry. Like I said, with the cheese fry or something like that. And uh, I took my daughter out for her birthday, but I planned for it. You're going to have those special celebrations. You're going to have a grandchild's birthday. You're going to have like a grandparent's day at school or a mom and daughter breakfast or a father and son um, get together. You're always going to have something and uh, you're just going to have to learn to track, track, track and uh, just know what you're going to eat ahead of time and then that's half the battle. Uh, the recipe was for a garlic speared, garlic seared shrimp with smoked paprika. I don't like shrimp but somebody might like that. So you know check it out. And then uh, really quick before I run out of too much, I don't like to, I don't like to be too long. Trust me, I can be long. Um, some different tips that the leader had given us um, about when you're there. Um, here's a little, if you can read my writing. But um, the first one is to look at the menu. 
look at the menu before you go. Take your time when you're there. Figure out what you want. Try to get something healthy and uh, stay within your points. Uh, the second thing you want to do is eat something before you go. Have uh, an apple, a cheese stick, something small, glass of water, something that you're not so hungry when you get there that you're just going to ravish everything that comes to your table. Try to have a salad for your appetizer. I personally like potato skins with the sour cream. Um, I like um, the mozzarella sticks dipped in ranch. I, I, no, no more. Well, not no more. I'm, I, I know that for till, while I'm on my journey, I, it's going to be a special occasion that I have that. So I'm going to get the salad. So when you get the salad, look out for all the extra toppings. Um, nowadays with the toppings, they put um, extra cheese and they put croutons and they put bacon bits. Ask for all those things on the side. And then you can put them on as you need them. Also ask for your dressing on the side and then dip your fork, which I do do when I'm out. Uh, dip your fork into the dressing and then the salad so that each bite does get some of the dressing and you don't use as much dressing and if you have it on the side you realize how much they actually put on your salad because they put way more than two tablespoons of dressing on your salad um, ask how your mood, food is prepared they told us at the meetings that when you order a omelet at either IHOP or Denny's that they put pancake batter in the eggs that's what makes them so fluffy. So when you're ordering eggs, you might not be figuring out the pancake batter into your points. And that's what makes it fluffy. So you can tell them, you know, I'd like an omelet, but don't put any pancake batter in it. And uh, it won't be as fluffy, but it's, it's still going to be just as good. Um, ask for a carryout box right away. Um, split your meal in half, put it aside. Know you're going to take that home for another meal. And uh, you'll only eat what's on your plate then, rather than eat what you want to eat and then put whatever's left into the container. If you want to dip into the container afterwards, you can, but you're more conscious that you're going to be eating that because you're dipping into that container. Uh, avoid the bread basket, my biggest downfall. Um, I find that if you get like a breadstick, they're two points. So you just eat a breadstick plain. Um, I eat it like a pretzel rod. It kind of satisfies me in that sense. Um, drink water with your meal. Obviously, that's a no-brainer. But um, if you want to get a drink, try a wine or a light beer. There's less calories than like a margarita or a black Russian or a screwdriver. You know, something light you want to have with your meal. Um, what is it? Oh, um, share a dessert. If you're going to have a dessert, what, what we do sometimes with our when we go for our couples dinner is like we'll get two two desserts and then the eight of us will split it. You know, we'll just cut it all up and then everybody can get a taste of whatever everything is. I tend to stay away from the desserts, uh, mostly because they're so expensive. But uh, I'm I'm pretty full by that point. And the last thing what she told you to do is wear regular fitted clothing. Do not wear your sweatpants. Do not wear baggy jeans. Do not wear baggy clothes. If your clothes fit you properly, if you eat too much, then you get that bloated feeling and you know you're done. If you have loose fitting clothes, you can expand past that. So you don't want to do that. So those are my tips for this week. Um, sorry I ran so long. I didn't mean to talk so much, but it's who I am. I'm sorry. But uh, once again, it's... Eating out, you can enjoy eating out, and uh, and I do. So um, on to another successful week. <laughs> so I will see you guys next week.